Hello, YouTube. I'm Jake from Peyton B. and their friend. And to the right of me, we have Peyton B. from Peyton B. and their friend. And today we have a box from the flea market, which I have had sitting around for about um, over a month or so. So let's see what's in here because I already forgot. Wow. All right, now first, let's um, get everything out of here. Um, now, if you guys are um, questioning why this is, in fact, inside of a box, um, because I got the box from buying, uh, what was it here? Oh yeah, this, which we will get into later in the video. All right, so first here we have a bag. I forgot what's in this bag here, so Let's take a look, <laughs> we shall. All right, so first off, get a carriage-shaped poppet. Um, ooh, ASMR. You like ASMR, don't you? Pet B. Uh, she said, yes. So, yeah, um, Carrot Poppet. Very cute. Oh, yeah, did I mention, guys, that everything, like, in total from that box was $20? A $20 flea market haul. Yeah. Alright, next we got a little Hello Kitty button badge. In which the... Glitter inside. Shake it. <laughs> you gave it a shaky shake, Payton B. Uh, shake, shake, shake. Alright, next. Got Hello Kitty McDonald's toy. Um. I have a year on here. I know you guys can't read this, but it says 2015. That was almost 10 years ago. Now I feel old. But yeah, it's got a little bobblehead though. Alright, and then next we got, um, what was this from? Uh, I think it's a Burger King toy. Um, yeah, of uh, Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Because, as you guys hopefully do know, uh, it's my favorite Disney movie. At least one of my favorites. And, um, yeah, in total for everything here, I did haggle with this lady a bit, and um, I think I got everything here for two or three bucks in total. So yeah, guys, remember, haggling at the flea market is good. You should always do that. <laughs> All right, next, what do we have in here? I'm. Uh, really concerned with like paper bag here so I'm just concerned in general with all these bags but mostly the box 
All right, now this here, I got it, I think for $2. I'm gonna be for real. I don't actually remember going to the flea markets. I don't remember buying half this stuff, but yeah, let's see. Um, So we got, oh my gosh, statues of angels. Now why? Do I need palm-sized statues of... Well, this one has no angel wings, so that must be a fake angel or something. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, um... Alright, so... These two here... Um... Spot the difference, I guess. Clang them together. Did you hear that? That's a noise. <laughs> Alright, but, um... Yeah, so the... Actually, this one's more crusty than this one. But, um... Yeah, for some reason, these two angels here, uh, they're... Holding... Well... Holding a, a baby and then have a baby. So that's two babies each. So we got four babies in total. Um, yeah, and then next here we also have two. Um, I, I can't say identical angels, okay? Because one of them is very much quite literally missing wings. All right, well, Pay and V said, um, that <laughs> this here, um, this one here is totally Gabriel. Not, not Satan in disguise. Okay, um, <laughs> I agree with you on that statement, Pay and V. I mean, look at this, guys. What? This one here just straight up has the wings, like, broken off. Why? I mean, I know I paid, like, I don't know, $2 for this. So I'm not mad. I just, like, I got questions as to, like, how would you do this? Like, <laughs> what? But, um, you know what, Peyton B, you're... Your, um, assessment, it really made me have a realization, okay? Because, um, I must admit these two angels here do have a very striking resemblance to the Archangel Gabriel. What if that's why I bought them? Holy moly. Alright, next, we got... Two rings here. Um, whoops. Oh, okay. Got two rings here. Now, let me think here. Obviously, there is an issue if there's three of us. And only two rings. <laughs> that is, um, oh, wait. wait, maybe you have a point, <laughs> okay, well, Pay and V also just made a very good assessment as to if I bought these a month ago, what if I bought them for our ex boo friend. Ew. Um. I don't know, man. What are we gonna do with these? Like, we can't have them. There's only two. Okay. KMB said, well, 
We'll uh, we'll give them to uh, to our friends. Uh, who uh, one of them's names starts with a G and ends with the L, and then the other one it starts with the F and ends with the S. And they need rings because they're in love. Oh yeah, also this first little ring here. These rings are cute though. It's kind of sad actually. Um, like okay, so the first little ring here. It's um, it's star and it's yellow. And then the second ring. It's red. And it's star. These were like a dollar each. Um. Actually, no, I don't want to put these on. Um. Alright, so next. We have. D. Not DVDs. CDs. So. These here, I got them for the low, low price of free, because I'm Connie's Creations friend, or one of her friends, link in the description, um, she was also selling at the flea market and decided to just give these to me for free, because, um, yeah, I guess I'm just that cool. Alright, so first off here, wait, what order did I get these in? Um, let's uh, rearrange some. Alright, first here, I know you're gonna like this, Payton B. Uh, Alright, we got Diary of a Madman by Ozzy Osbourne. Let's take a look. At our booklet, if I can get it out of there. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, oh wait, what? Huh? I think this is the first time I've ever seen a booklet that's, well, not a booklet. It, it folds out. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, okay. Um, look at our disc here. Oh, um, it is a disc. All right. Next, we got Theater of Pain by Motley Crue. I like the look of this disc better, but, um, all right, let's look at our booklet. Ooh, yes, here we have a nice picture of all of the band members. We got Mick Mars, Tommy Lee, Nikki Six, and also Vince Neil. So let's uh, take a look see. Oh, here on the inside we also have another picture, except it's black and white. Also, this page here, it's completely blank, um, which I'm confused by. Alright, here we have very, very small lyrics for all the songs. And here we have a nearly blank page. Um, okay, well that booklet, that was... That was a bit boring. Um, all right, let's look at our disc here. Hey, at least we got some color on this one. We got red. All right. 
Next, we got Who Made Who by ACDC. Um, the official soundtrack from the Stephen King film, Maximum Overdrive. I've never seen that film, but I know ACDC. Alright, let's take a look at our book. Let, if we can get it now, um, if we can get it out of here. Getting these out with gloves is hard. Um, it's, it's easy whenever you have, you know, um, your fingers to do it. Just your bare fingers. Okay, this one here, this folds out. Um, the compact disc digital audio system offers the best possible sound reproduction on a small convenient sound carrier unit. I don't care, shut up. Alright. So, um, yeah, I mean, we got some nice pictures here, though, but, uh, yeah, I mean, on the inside here, we just have names of the songs, and, well, also credits, but, uh, um, I don't know, guys, should I go, like, go, should I see this film just because, <laughs> this soundtrack here and I feel like that's probably what made a lot of people watch that film I mean then again I don't know maybe not um maybe it caused a bunch of people to go listen to ACDC all right so here is our disc it's also got that same red color All right, and for our last compact disc, we have um, Elvis, oh boy, Blue Hawaii, Elvis Presley. So, um, I mean, yeah, you had another soundtrack album. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look here. I don't know, should I also go watch this? Just because now I own the soundtrack? So I have to know, I don't know that much about Elvis Presley. Um, I think the first time that I heard of Elvis Presley was from... Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Um, Alright, here's our desk. Alright, um... Let's take a look at our... Booklet. Oh, this is completely blank. On the inside. What? Man... Um, well, okay. Also, on, like, the, you know, what shows whenever you actually open this case here, it's just literally, like, the track list of the black background. And I want to note that it's literally the same thing that's on the back of the case, except without the barcode and the stupid compact disc digital audio thing. Also, this is ADD, um, but, yeah, I mean, oh boy. Alright, next. Can I even show this on YouTube? Rethink Peyton B. Peyton B said do it. So that means that I probably shouldn't, but I should. 
All right, but here we got Faces of Death Part One, Two, and Three. Um, I know it says like ten dollars on each, but this guy gave me a deal, and um, I paid ten dollars for all three of these. So um, thank you. Actually, thank you to everyone at the flea market, man, for giving me such good deals. Um. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> just ignore the fact that it says DVD-R, okay, um, <laughs> yeah, this guy asked me, like, you know, are you 18, and I was like, um, I turned 18 in a month, I mean, I turned 28 in a month, yeah, um, <laughs> Uh, this guy was, like, also very adamant about giving me a bag, but because he didn't have any bags, um, instead, he gave me a box. So I've just had this box sitting around, um, I'm, okay, I'm very confused by this disc here, um, okay. I mean, all right, um, yeah, um, wow, yeah, all right, so let me go grab the DVD player and then we'll test these. All right, guys. We're back, so we'll test our CDs first. First up here we have Diary of a Madman. Let me take a look at the track list real quick for that one. Alright, I know Flying High again. I've seen the music video for that one recently. And it made me pretty sad. Also, I keep on getting, like, copyright. Um, not strikes. But notices, I think they're called. And it's really making me mad. Um... I don't like my stuff being copyright claimed. Makes me mad. Okay. Have you heard this album before, Pet and B? Cool. Pet and B says that they have. Which very based. I just haven't, admittedly. Um, hey, and B wants me to play also the um, last track on this album. So that I shall do. Just for you, baby. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot to take out the discs for Faces of Death, hold on. Um, I'm really hoping that, like, it just doesn't show gore within the first five seconds or something crazy like that. I don't know when I'm gonna actually watch these. Um, which, you guys are wondering if I'm scared, um, no. Payton B, are you scared? Payton B said, no. Which that is a based Payton B. 
that you're not scared of anything. I'm not scared of anything either. Nothing at all. Except for people recommending me indie artists. Because I'm going to be so serious. Half the time, whenever people give me recommendations for indie artists, I have not liked them. Especially not Will Wood. I, I hated Will Wood. Peyton B says that they hate Will Wood too. Alright. Next up. We have me grab a sit here. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it all the way over here. Um, alright. We got Theater of Pain by Motley Crue. And B says, play louder than hell. Okay, what's that? Um, third track. Oh, we just skipped smoking in the boys' room. If you guys haven't seen the music video for smoking in the boys' room, go, go watch it. It is very funny. Is that my hair? It's stuck in there. Yeah, I haven't listened to this full album either. I just know, like... Two... Okay, three or four songs. I know that much. Oh wait guys, I forgot to show you too this um little mirror. It came in here. I it is obviously a mirror, so I can't just show it on myself, um, but because I don't want you guys to know my secret. But um Yeah, it's still got the protective thing on here, but yeah, I did, did need me a little mirror. Alright, next we're gonna play Home Sweet Home. Cause um Yeah, it's probably one of my personal favorite power ballads. Oh, this is also reflective. Pay and V says they agree. A and B has such good observations and opinions. This is why I love you. I want to put this over here. Yeah, like guys, I swear the cleanup that I have to do after each video bruh, makes my back hurt, I swear. Makes my back hurt from, like, how hard I'm carrying this channel. But, uh, I gotta admit, guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit funny, okay? I, I think so, at least, okay? In my personal opinion, that's why I'm like, um, yeah, that's why I'm in a lot of videos on this channel. All right, next we got Who Made Who by ACDC. Let's see here. It's our track list. 
Now, I will listen to the first song on here, because I think that's the only song on this album that's not from another one. And then Pay and B, uh, you can pick something. Pay and B said, pick Hell's Bells. Well, you're in luck because thankfully that is on this. <laughs> <laughs> Compilation album. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would have done if Pay and B asked for something that wasn't on here. Um. Also, this song sounds cool so far. Pay and B agrees. Very true. Now, if you guys don't know ACDC, then, um, first off, I'm very concerned. And second off, if, if you don't know at least one of their songs, I'm even more concerned that that's almost as bad as like not knowing Queen or Ozzy Osbourne like um yeah also you know if you guys need another song other than Hell's Bells that starts out with bells, then of course there's um for whom the bell tolls by Metallica. I just recently listened to the Ride the Lightning album, and that was pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's it's gonna get me a copyright strike. Alright, next, we got Blue Hawaii by Elvis Presley. Let's see, do I know any of this? No, I don't. <laughs> Damn, took you long enough to load. Portable CD player. Then again, I'm sure there's somebody out in the comments who thinks that I'm really stupid for, um, not knowing anything about Elvis Presley, but, um, in my defense, though, um, at least I know Jerry Lee Lewis, because I seen that, I seen that movie, okay, Great Balls of Fire, it's very interesting and it left me with a lot of questions to say the least but I enjoyed it I mean okay though I gotta admit this does rock but I don't want Elvis Presley's legal team to um, set fire to my video here. So, alright, now let's see if, um, something else will set fire to my video here. First we have Faces of Death, the first one. I'm turning this 
all the way down. Because I'm in fear. Uh. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, now. Um. <laughs> yeah, guys, um. Just disregard my statement from. 10 minutes ago, please. Um. I think I'm gonna have to actually blur that out. Okay, no, but my dumbass was over here thinking about, um. You know that, um. Weird Al Yankovic song, Like a Surgeon. <laughs> if you haven't seen that music video either, you should go watch that. Um. Alright, this one here actually starts out with the FBI warning about copyright infringement. Um, that's very ironic. Alright, what's this here? Are we in the gates of hell? Wow. Did I what, baby? At least you didn't have to see that. <laughs> we, we should watch this video together. Wait, hold on. Yo, what? So this... So this actually has a menu here. Yo, what? Whoa. Okay, I don't think I can go through the scene selections, but... Like, damn, bro. Yo, we should, like... We should watch this with Ray, too. I think she'd get a kick out of this. Alright, so that was Faces of Death. Okay, this one says Part 2... But then, this one here is just called Faces of Death 3, so I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Oops. Sorry, I didn't play the second one. Um, Why is it taking so long to load? Did I put the disc in there upside down? I'm really scared that I did. Yo, what the f- Wait, did I actually- I'm really confused now. Um... Maybe I I don't know. Um I can't tell like what's the top and what's the bottom of the disc. Oh. Alright y'all, maybe I did mess up on that. Whoops. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, um. Oh, maybe it's that little piece of crud that I wiped off the disc. That was the issue. Um, okay then. All right, we got the same stupid intro here. Well, I'm sorry, but this, like, this intro to the DVD is, like, corny as hell. Not as good as... This one here, this was pretty, you know, pretty strong opening. Um, okay, we'll, we'll see how bad this gets. 
closers. Um. Uh, oh no, I'm scared. Okay, um. I feel really bad for not showing you guys Faces of Death Part 2. The first. I don't know, however long it takes me until I get absolutely horrified. This is probably going to be my best flea market haul video that I've ever made. Fast forward this shit, bro. Yes, please. The original Faces of Death 2. The worst of Faces of Death. Now we want to look at Faces of Death 2. Well, that's also a corny uh, intro, not gonna lie. Um. Alright, what we got here? What is going on, bro? Um. What the? Got the popo here. Wow, there's an intro. Holy moly. Um. Alright, no, I'm scared. I want to move my mommy. Um, link in the description. Sniff, sniff. Um, but, yeah, guys, if you like this video, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and comment down below if you think I scored, because, dude, I think I scored hard with, with these, bro. Like, hell yeah. I mean, also with these, bro, I think this is the cheapest I'm ever going to get any music CDs. Literally, zero dollars. Like, bro. But yeah. We'll see you guys. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll... I don't know. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!